What's going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today once again with an Incursion 2 Raid video guide here. More specifically though, we're going to be walking through the bio section. Now that I've had a chance to actually go through this in more detail, uh, reducing more of the RNG and getting some consistency in the wins, especially if you guys do not want to gear tier 18 all of your tunes. That's what we're really taking a look at today with Hive Mind for the bio section. But as well, I've decided to switch things up a little bit and the results have been super satisfying. So uh, we got actually footage here of difficulty 2.3. So the highest level of the incursion raid difficulty right now. And I will say guys, like this has been super Super smooth now that I've kind of had this new team dynamic. So let me walk you through my roster real quick and then we'll go through each of the node attempts here. Um, and it's actually pretty easy now that some of these tunes have been built up. So this is my full hive mind team. Uh, one of these members are actually going to get excluded here because we actually are going to be including Super Scroll as part of the team. I've found that having Super Scroll takes away the RNG and creates a more leveled out in terms of um, the consistency we're seeing, especially uh, with some of the characters and the synergies that we're seeing. And Super Scroll does put this team over the top, which is amazing if you guys have them and, and completely just, you know, wipes the floor with the bio section. So first and foremost, you got to have Carnage. Gear tier 17, level 91 is where I got them right now. Um, you don't need them at gear tier 18 now, just because of the fact that this actually is enough to get through the highest level incursion two rates. As you can see, uh, making sure that you have respective T fours on that passive ultimate helps a lot um special obviously really uh, everything adds up over time we got gwenham here everything i would recommend from a t4 perspective because she's going to be the battery of the team and i do actually have here a gear tier 18 as well so that's been pretty big um just to get that additional input but keep in mind too uh we are still waiting for higher level stars of these characters so obviously once more stars come it's gonna be more consistent but for the time being this gets the job done uh, Venom, we're actually skipping Venom, guys. So this is the character that is on the chopping block here for myself. So if you guys are watching this and you do have Super Scroll unlocked and you have not built up Hive Mind, uh, guess what? You may not need Venom, so that's good news there. So hey, save your new resources here, uh, as you may not actually need to actually include them as part of this bio team going forward. Uh, we got Red Goblin here, providing a lot of the support on the team with him being the protector, and he's got some great trauma inflicting abilities as well as healing the team and uh, just adding some support buffs all all the way around, which is huge and the cleanses have been magnificent. I actually do plan on likely bringing him up to gear to 18 because I love how this character is trending with this team and they're going to have value outside of raid as well. And then finally, you know, the, the core and the linchpin of this team is Void Knight. Bring him up as high as you can. He's going to be definitely the big uh, difference maker here. But what's cool about this team is that, yeah, um, out of these... Uh, out of this four character mixture here uh three out of the four characters are not um fully leveled up in terms of their star level so as we get more shard unlocks there obviously it's going to make it easier and easier and then it goes well saying you get super scroll bring him up all the way to the max we did get lucky and got the five red on him finally with all the uh, dark promotion diamond credits and so forth so yeah we're good to go here guys so this is my full team now let's go through and uh, show you the gameplay here footage for difficulty 2.3 on incursion rates I think it's really important to point out how uh, pivotal Super Scroll is actually because of the passive bonuses that he does give to this team. So we're going to start things off. We're going to cleanse that right side there uh, with Scrolls Basic. But you can see, then we start things off with Void Knight's Ultimate. Um, and we have started pretty quickly here. We're going to aim for Agatha Harkness on the right side. But you're going to see why this team works so well because uh, we have the debuffs getting strict upon this enemy team. Uh, we got uh, Red Goblin constantly using his ultimate because he's going to be flipping as well as being able to cleanse the negatives, but giving us a heal as well. Now, it's pretty important. I think Super Scroll is uh, adding that additional ability block is pretty big and making sure you time Void Knight special uh, on Nova. So that way, even if Nova gets a turn, even though he's not, uh, you know, stunned or ability blocked, he's not going to be able to do much against us, right? And you can see how well this team does shine. We're now kind of just aiming for that cluster. And what I am doing is, I'm making sure that trauma does stick with uh, Red Goblin's abilities, but as well, constantly reapplying Void Knight's ultimate. We're going to be getting energy from Gwenom and constantly getting those abilities. But uh, making sure that you're also having a special focus on um, any enemies that do look like they're going to be falling quickly. Because remember, uh, Carnage is going to be getting that turn meter uh, bonus and providing that to the team. So we don't hesitate at all to use many of these abilities. And you can just see how fast we're ripping through this um, this first node, right? Uh, it's pretty crazy to see the synergy here. And don't be afraid like i said to use all the abilities constantly um now one thing to be mindful of is do not use super scrolls ultimate we're going to be using that to start things off in node two and you'll see why this this team absolutely wipes the floor with the bio nodes because of that reason right um the trauma that super scroll is going to apply is going to it, it pay off for dividends later and as well in the boss node when we go through that together 
So yeah, um, this for sure, this team can actually 100% um, uh, can sim these nodes. I just don't know if you want to because we have to manage that Super Skull Ultimate, which could be a very, very big uh, difference maker here. You should be left with these three enemies here uh, in Captain Sam. Um, we have Thor, Infinity War, and then as well as Nova. Uh, as you can see, we're just constantly applying that energy uh, steal from Nova. So that way, even if Nova gets a turn, he's not going to be landing his special or his ultimate. It doesn't really matter. Uh, he's got high resistances, but if he doesn't have energy to use his abilities, it is what it is. So now at this point, we're just cleaning up. And yeah, pretty easy. But yeah, what I like about Super Scroll coming to this team is the fact that he makes the team stronger and he gives another ability block, which Venom did provide previously. But what makes it even more detrimental is the trauma, right? The trauma, um, the exposure that he can apply to do constantly more damage. And you should be left with Nova at the end here. Super, super straightforward. Basic him to death at the very end because it's going to be easy, easy cleanup, uh, setting us up for a no two, uh, which in my honest opinion is probably the one that gives most people uh, a hard time. No one's pretty easy here okay so as you see same placement 1.6 million team again uh but this time we're actually gonna be kicking things off here with super skulls ultimate which is why you want to get that set up so ultimate with void knight as per usual having all these buffs and now check this out huge ultimate to start things off the trauma is absolutely detrimental we're gonna have you know a uh, strict focus here on quicksilver again uh with gwendam's the ultimate casting the deep buffs and making sure that we actually get ability energy uh we're gonna be applying the trauma once again to uh with red goblin there uh, these guys hit so hard in this node and again because we have a lot of smaller star levels it could definitely play a factor um quicksilver might be able to get out of that situation but then we have the ability block ready to go there with super scroll uh, so that's why it's such a great um synergy here right these enemies are going to hit quite hard but thankfully no one's fallen quite yet and remember we still have red goblins uh revive that can kick in for one of our hive mind members if that's the case go ahead activate void knight special there that's going to clean up the, the silver surfer but as well take away quicksilver's energy so it doesn't really matter if he even gets a turn uh similar story to what we how we treated nova uh in that first node right and then boom those the problem points of this node essentially falls right there the other one we need to be mindful now is the Eternals combination of Icarus and Cersei. Uh, but again, once you get through this, guys, super, super straightforward. Uh, we're saving the ultimate uh, from Void Knight because we do want to be cautious here. We know the Eternals are dropping, so that's kind of why uh, we did that there. Once again, the barrier, the energy, and just being able to do, apply that AoE damage. I just love Gwendam in the synergy here. And remember, guys, we have a lower level um, characters for them as well because they don't have higher star levels. So uh, it's great to see that we're still getting value here. And even with higher difficulties coming to these incursion raids, we're going to be ready to handle this. So ultimate on everyone, making sure that they stick. Uh, ideally, you want to be you know kind of watching for the damage you're doing to the Eternals because if you get them to flip it, uh, in terms of their um, their cleansing mechanic that kicks in, uh, that's something you want to be mindful of, right? So focus on the enemies that are not the Eternals just yet until they have trauma. Once they have trauma, as you can see with Icarus there, then it's okay to start targeting them because then their 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 re, um, their re, their cleanse won't kick in, and then we actually have a chance. So we're gonna take away that energy as well. Uh, but again, um, it's pretty straightforward. Honestly, this is so easy uh, now that we've inserted Super Scroll. I was having an issue with this note, especially in that beginning, but. Uh, what's really put this team over the top is Super Scroll now. And again, it's just like easy mode now. Like we're just gliding through this, um, you know, huh, pun intended there with uh, with Red Goblin. But yeah, we're absolutely just gliding. So able to activate the stun there. And then, you're, you you, you know, um, unfortunately, Cersei does have high resistance. So you may or may not be able to land it, but it doesn't really matter. You, just, you can see we're just in total control and we're completely just dominating. And at this point, you can try one more time to apply some trauma, but we're cleaning up here, the Silver Samurais and so forth. And now, um, very, very important, similar to kind of how we managed the uh, Super Scrolls Ultimate in the first node, uh, we're gonna want to do the same thing because we're gonna need that for the boss node. And that's exactly what's gonna put this team over once again for the boss node. The boss node is probably the hardest one if you don't know how to set it up properly, uh, which is actually what we're gonna be doing here. So um, yeah, as you can see, we're, we're running down for time a bit, but like I said, it's pretty easy. You can definitely sim it. I just, I don't know if you want to risk losing the cooldown here or Super Scroll using his ult. Um, I don't want to. So now we're in a perfect position, guys. Cooldowns are ready to go and we're ready to, to hit this last and final node. Now, guys, say what you want, but I am not one-shotting this. I need someone to go in to take the punch here. Uh, so that's what we're doing here. Essentially, you just really need someone to take that Black Cat special at the very beginning here. Ideally, it'd be better if you can take more damage. But you can see, these are some gear tier 18 characters I have Rebirth. And uh, they get completely destroyed, guys. So now we're the, the stage is set. We bring in the exact same team that we've been using now, Super Scroll with Hive Mind, 
and let me show you how easy this is now now that those abilities are kind of taken out of the the water here uh we're going to be focusing in on black cat you know thankfully um it actually did land on the ability block we're going to start things off same thing with no two a devastating ultimate thanks to super scroll uh we got the trauma getting afflicted and this is huge guys um, now we have the barrier getting applied, uh, the support capabilities, the buffs, we're ready to go here. And this is just so easy when you have this setup. Now you can see, right, that this team absolutely has no chance against us. And um, if you're able to, constantly see if you can hit Black Cat as much as you can, because she's got the exposure, which does trigger Super Scroll's passive damage across the board. And again, just keep applying trauma, just keep going down the middle, because... Uh, we're just gonna completely wipe the floor with this team um, and again this is this has shown me how successful it is I was uh, getting completely dominated in 2.1 and 2.2 thinking I need to use the full hive mind but then I was like wait a minute uh, super scroll is such a great character why the hell aren't we using him and the moment I started kind of uh, theory crafting this a bit I don't think I've seen anyone do this yet either and, you know everyone's just so set on you know gear tier 18 all your hive mind not needed guys you, you know super scroll is at this point in time still the best character in the game because typically no one has unlocked mephisto just yet so i gotta give him the title guys he just makes all the teams even better and again um the devastating void knight ultimate we're looking so good right now 11 out of 16 enemies are you kidding me this is we're just walking through this you could probably auto this to be honest um at this point um if you've gotten to this uh to this level and you have the super scroll ultimate i would probably just sim the boss known after you do that initial sack there because uh this is you can just see how easy this is this is future proof for a little while until they bump up the bio nodes but my goodness the, the what is arguably uh one of the harder sections in the incursion two raids now is a complete joke with this team absolutely love it guys absolutely love it so now this last and final wave that spawn we're going to be aiming for that magneto because we just don't want him to get his ultimate off timing of the void knight ultimate is perfect here ability lock boom 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 everybody's disabled and pretty much good game you can at this point you can hit auto if you want um but yeah like you can just see how easy this is guys it's just demonstration here of um really really good setting up and as well like i said typically uh i, I usually have alignment mate, alliance mates to clean up and help me out anyways but uh, i just wanted to showcase for you guys if you want to solo everything yourself this is how you would do it so you can see how straightforward it is. My goodness, what a what a great team uh, when synergized with Super Scroll. And uh, yeah, uh, it's great to see that this is going to be uh, strong for a little while. And and uh, it's uh, it's amazing to see how tanky these guys are. And like I said, like three out of these uh, five characters are at four or five stars, right? So we're gonna, they're only going to get these getting stronger over time, which is absolutely huge, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, the highest incursion difficulty two right now, which is uh, three, but able to wipe the floor with these guys. And this is a very powerful team that we're dealing with. But again, it requires super scroll. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for your time as always. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.